Before you know it, runners will be hitting the streets for the City of Pittsburgh Great Race. And among the thousands of great racers will be a father-son team who are also city firefighters taking part in the City Fit Team Challenge. We're pleased to have them with us this morning. We want to welcome Ed Hurley Sr. and Jr. Look at that picture. <laughs> Along with great race director Brian Cates. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So let's talk about this uh, this challenge, this team challenge. How does this work? Sure. I mean, you have the great race, the 10K and 5K race. And inside of that race, we have uh, competitions for teams. So we do things from a corporate cup challenge where um, you can uh, your business can enter uh, that competition based on how many employees you have. We've got nonprofits. We've got education. So fraternities, sorority, student groups from different schools can get together and compete against each other. And then internally uh, in the city of Pittsburgh to get our own employees and things like that up and running, uh, the City Fit program, the Wellness at Work program started a city competition where departments can sponsor teams of employees like teams of firefighters, police, uh, personnel will have a team, our uh, technology department has a team, and they compete internally against each other for a, uh, a uh, city prize. Okay, so do the firefighters always win? They have for the last few years. Yeah. <laughs> well, and you guys are part of that right. effort. Mm -hmm. so, we've been fortunate. I mean, we've had some young guys come on the job yeah. in the last few years. Who can run? Who can run? I mean, for a while, there was, a, there was just a few guys, uh, a few of the older guys who, uh, who ran a lot on the side. Um, but, you know, some of the other city departments, uh, parks has lifeguards, the police department. I mean, mm -hmm. there's some guys, young kids that are fit, you know, so it, it became harder for us. But luckily for us, like I said, we, we've had some young guys come on that have helped us. Well, it's not a challenge unless there's a little competition, right? You don't want to blow them out of the water every time. <laughs> no, or maybe you do. No. I don't know. No, no, no. no. <laughs> not like that at all. Not well, like so how did you two get involved? I know that you started after your dad. Yeah, he, uh, he was running for, for years as I was growing up. and. Uh, you know, just seeing him do it, and then as I got a little bit older, he invited me to come out and try it, and then it just kind of became an internal competition. He would, you know, get up to run every morning. I would try and keep up with him as far as training goes, and, and then every year I just try and improve my time and uh, never catching him, but... Uh, still not even to this day? No, nah, no. Nah. <laughs> well, that has to give you a little bit of pride. You can still beat your son, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, to some extent. Not so much him. Uh, beating the younger guys right. is good. I'd like to see him beat me. I always want to see him win. You know how it is with your children. You always want to see them do well. Right. But, uh, but it's great that he comes out uh, and runs. We've been on the same fireman's team that has won. Um, so, you know, with the ceremony, with the mayor and all that, you know, uh, getting awards and being together, it's always good to share things with your children. So that, that's always been special for us. Well, and Brian, I know we've talked before about um, just making memories in some of these races. So do you guys have favorite memories from doing this? Uh, as far as the team thing, uh, just he and I, you know, again, uh, at that ceremony, um, I know for me, for the great race, uh, personally, uh, I ran as a high school athlete. Uh, and, and the race used to finish uh, underneath the tunnel there at the, the point, and I remember coming through that to the finish line, you know, as a 15-year-old, and that was pretty cool. Oh, you know, that was real cool. And how about you? Do you yeah, I mean, I, did, I started a little bit later in, in life. I was probably 18 or 19 when I first started to run it with him, but uh, just the experience of running from Frick Park through the whole city and getting to see everybody enjoy that, that day and, and the bonding time from, from the race and the event and the training leading up to it. And what would you guys say to people who are maybe like on the fence about doing the race or not doing it? Oh, anyone can do it. I mean, the distance again is, uh, you know, there's, there's plenty of shorter races, mm -hmm. but, but 6.2 6 is not unattainable for anyone. I mean, it's, it's really manageable. And uh, the energy, I mean, from the start line at, at any race is, is great, but at that with so many people, you know, and everyone's there, every fitness level, there's plenty of walkers and joggers. You know, there's people that are trying to win. Uh, so there's everywhere in between. I mean, you can feed off uh, the people watching it. There's plenty of crowds. There's bands and everything else there. I mean, it's, it's, really, it's, it's, it's really good for anybody at any level. Well, I remember last year I was running behind someone who they, they had, like, cross-dressed. There was a man dressed in the, the wedding dress and a woman dressed <laughs> in the tuxedo. So there are people that also have fun with right, it right, as well. Sure. Right? We, all, we used to have a, a costume competition yeah. that's gone by the wayside. Maybe we'll have to bring that back. Maybe we will. Yeah. Maybe you guys can run in your fireman's uniform. Ooh, Ooh no. okay. Yeah. Maybe, maybe not, okay. Well, you can register now for the City of Pittsburgh. Great raise. It's coming up on Sunday, September 30th. It'll be here before you know it. You can get more details on the 10K, the 5K run, and fitness walk, as well as the community foot races to help you start your training at kdka.com slash PTL.